Hi, David Soriano. I'm a chemistry professor with the University of Pittsburgh, Bradford, Bradford, Pennsylvania. And my area of research is the design and synthesis of potential diesel fuels, synthetic diesel fuels made from uh, renewable resources. I'm looking for uh, collaborative partners, uh, research uh, grant backing. Uh, the potential fuels that we are producing here at school are made, are based on livolenic acid, which is derived from traditionally from uh, carbohydrates, sugar, sucrose. It can be produced now from cellulose, so bi biomass based production of livolenic acid. And uh, some of the leaders in the field believe the material will be available as cheaply as 10 to 11 cents a gallon in the next year to two years. The um, materials that we are producing are uh, made by a process which is, I would anticipate, is economically feasible. Uh, this is one of the oils that's produced. Um, this is the appearance of it after a reaction is complete, uh, washed with water, dried, uh, but not yet distilled. I anticipate that the distilled material would have a colorless, um, uh, would be a colorless liquid. We're in the process of measuring flash point viscosity and uh, running, uh, let's call it a B20 in lieu of biodiesel in our diesel generators um, and we'll start with a B20 formulation. Now this is another one that was produced. It's a little bit paler. This is a very, very um, low melt point. This, uh, this material, based on livolenic acid, uh, has a melting point of about 25 below zero Celsius. So this would be proposed as a synthetic diesel fuel that could be run in a typical northeastern United States winters unlike uh, biodiesel particularly biodiesel derived from vegetable um, from uh, animal fat once again the material has not been distilled we can prepare it in about an hour and a half and uh, the boiling point of this is anticipated to be about 225 to 230 degrees Celsius at um, atmospheric pressure. So if you're interested, uh, please contact us here at the University of Pittsburgh, Bradford, Bradford, Pennsylvania, Department of Chemistry. Thank you very much.